Hello and welcome to Solution Cone. In this video, we are going to show you how to retrieve data from database and display in your browser. It's very simple, just follow our instructions. So let's start. So this is a code for connect.php which we created previously. Now we'll create a new PHP file, not two, only one, for retrieving. The script will retrieve data from the database. Save as this is inside the htdocs folder which we created. Uh, no, uh, the PHP folder which we created inside the htdocs. We are storing inside this PHP folder where we previously created stored our okay. values. Retrieve dot PHP. Okay. So uh, first of all, we need to include that connect.php. Okay. I think something went wrong while saving this. Okay. Instead of dot, I put comma. That's why it began. And this is by mistake. Okay. So, first of all, we need to include that connect.php so that I don't write it again and again. For including that, first of all, let's see where it is located. Inside your XAMPP, inside your htdocs folder, which is your root folder, everything should point from htdocs, but it's inside PHP okay so we have to use it in retrieve dot PHP so we have to include first of all we'll just put dot dot slash so that it comes to HD docs and then we'll say that it's PHP and inside that I want to include as connect dot PHP okay. now let's check whether we have written it as correctly or not connection success okay so when we when we come here in our local host and we write retrieve dot php yes it shows us a connection successful message has been displayed without any errors that means we have included correctly now I don't want this echo anymore okay <clears throat> now what I have to do is I have to retrieve data so I'll write a query like this is a simple query select all from the table name so the table name is inside solution con database we have a table known as table underscore sc so table underscore sc okay so this is our query we'll select that and uh, let's make another result and here we'll fire a query sql underscore query and inside that we are going to pass this query okay so now what will be the result it will be stored in this result okay now uh, I will write a code for display the values of suppose names now I have to display the names of the persons which are present inside our database so where is the database this is a database and inside our database it's nickel Akshay and solution cone okay so I have to I have to retrieve this name from this database and I have to print it in our browser so how will I do it so first of all I need a loop I need a while loop to 
uh, traverse through each and every records in our table okay so here I'll just make a new variable named uh, value suppose and here I will use my SQL underscore fetch array and here I'll pass my array which is nothing but the result okay so here I'll just echo the value which is value name why I have put in this because I want the value which is inside this column name and a semicolon and let's see whether it's working or not for us so let's retrieve and yes it worked you can see that this is nickel akshay and solution cone so you can make it look more prettier if you want to So it's now distinguishable nickel akshay and then solution code. This is how we retrieve data from the database. Suppose you want to uh, retrieve below that. You want to retrieve their address. So I'll just write address. So it will come just below that. Okay. So nickel let us do one thing we'll put a PR tag here so that our results more like nickel India Akshay India solution cone India like that okay so this is how you retrieve data from database okay so thank you for watching guys hope you like subscribe to solution code more videos are coming guys please like and share our channel thank you